So a few weeks back, I posted a video about my orchard behind me here. And I got a lot of questions about the raspberries. Everybody wants to know, how do you propagate those raspberries, Mike? Well, there's only one way that I would really want to propagate raspberries. And I'm going to take you out and show you right now. So right behind me here is our row of raspberries, and it's a 50-foot row. And these things produce so heavily every summer, we can barely keep up with them. We come out here and we collect them and just eat them right off the vine. Well, they're not vines, but bush. And we gather them and we make jam with them and we just, we eat them all summer long. Well, as long as they're producing and they produce for a long period of time. Now, I know the question's gonna come up, so I'm gonna answer it now. Mike, what is the variety? I don't know what the variety is. I wish I did, but you know what? It doesn't even really matter to me. These raspberries came from my mother-in-law, and I'm pretty proud of that fact because they've been in the family for a long time. She planted them at a different place she used to live at decades ago and then brought them with her to her new place, and then we got some from her place, and we're just gonna keep passing these things on down through the family. But they are such an abundant producer, one, Two, they just produce the most sweet, just awesome tasting red raspberries. And three, they're thornless, guys. So you can literally swim through these things and pick raspberries all day long without getting stuck by thorns. I love these raspberries, but let's get down to how to propagate these things because that's what you guys are here for. So listen, there's multiple ways that you can propagate these raspberries. Can you take tip cuttings? Yes, you can do that. And I've done it in the past and they root. Can you layer them? Yeah, you can layer them. You can stick a branch right in the ground. They lean over real easily. Stick that branch right in the ground and over time it'll form its own roots and you can dig that guy up, put it in a pot and go. But there's one thing I want you guys to understand that some of you may know, but raspberries don't spread the same way that blackberries do. Blackberries will produce a cane like this and they'll shoot up and then it'll bend over and it'll stick its nose right in the ground and start forming roots out of that. And then from that point, another branch will come up and go into the ground and then another one. And then they just keep going on like that. That's why when you go out in the wild and you see blackberries out there, they just look like a jumbled mound, you know, all over the place like that. Raspberries are different. Raspberries come up from the roots and they form a whole bunch of stalks just going straight up like these guys. And then as they get heavy and the summer comes on more and more, they start leaning over and then, but they don't stick their tips in the ground and they start, don't start rooting like that. They spread their roots out a long distance along the ground. And then raspberries come out all along the ground where those roots have spread to. So that can be one disadvantage to these raspberries. If you've got them in a small orchard, they will spread like wildfire. And I'm gonna show that to you guys right now. All right, so this is just a portion of our orchard here. And we have got, if you can see, we, here's our raspberries right here. These are the spent raspberries from this summer. And these are all the new canes starting to come up that will produce next year. And that's just how it goes year after year. Now. If you look all along in the grass, and we planted this grass so we could start mowing because we got sick of pulling, but if you look all along in here, there's a little raspberry coming up, and there's another one coming up, and there's another one, and there's another one, and there's another one, and they're all along the lawn there, but it doesn't matter because this is working out beautifully. We've put grass seed down all through here, and we just come through and we mow, and it's no big deal at all, and we come through. Now, if you look over here about 12 foot away in our blueberry patch, you'll see that they're starting to come up in the blueberry patch, and it's not that big of a deal. We pull them up occasionally, but they're not really spreading too much farther into that area, and it doesn't matter because we just mow it down. But here's what I wanna show you guys. You see See where these are coming up and you can do this with any of them that are coming up along the ground whether they're mowed or not it doesn't really matter but here we go we just reach in here and you guys can already probably tell what we're gonna do you don't want to pull from the tops because this is nice soft just succulent growth but you want to scrape down through the wood chips and through the soil or whatever you've got at your place and you want to get down there to where you've got some woodier material. See how that's kind of a, this is nice green, new, fresh growth. And then you've got that woody material down in there. See, look at that. That root's already starting to try and send up a new little shoot. These things spread like crazy, but our new lawn method is starting to work really well. You don't want to pull it straight out, but you just want to kind of, you want to kind of tease it out and eventually it'll pop right off of there. There you go. 
with a whole bunch of roots. Look at that, guys. Now, if you'll see, let's look down here. That is actually, it was attached to the main parent plant. It was attached to a long root there, but it's got a nice tap root there and then lots of little feeder roots coming off of it. So we can snip a chunk of that off there and then pot that up and it will become its own beautiful raspberry. Now with raspberries, you don't have to worry about this becoming a different type of raspberry or some generic raspberry or something because these guys don't have a root stock. They're just, they're one solid plant from the raspberry tops all the way down to the roots, all the way down through the soil, all the way to this guy. It's all the same exact mother raspberry. So whatever we get producing from our raspberry patch over here, this is going to go on to produce the exact same raspberries and we don't have to worry about root stock or any of that kind of stuff. Now, because we pulled this from the main parent plant, and it was getting a lot of its nutrition from that main tap root connected to the parent, this top will wilt over a little bit. But within a week or two, probably not even that, sometimes within a few days, this top will recover. It will be growing on its own roots, and it's as easy as that, guys. You can propagate these guys in one day just pulling up fresh new starts. Don't believe me? Well, I'm going to prove it to you as usual. We're going to go over to the other side of my barn here, the north side, and we're going to find a pot that I started almost two weeks ago with one of these little guys. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, here it is. My raspberry plant on the north side of my barn. It's been in the shade here, getting plenty of light, but we didn't want it in direct sun because we didn't want this guy cooking. So it's growing really well now. I did this on August 5th, I think it was. I write everything on my calendar in there. And the top, after the first couple hours, it wilted back. It was wilted right over because I severed it from the main parent plant there. But within actually this one within i think it was the next day the top had popped right back up and it's been two weeks now almost and this sucker is growing beautifully it's you can already see the new top growth is doing great it's starting to send up new growth it's looking beautiful and i want to show you something a lot of times with these thornless varieties people see this here you see all that fuzziness they look like little thorns, and so people think, well, that's not thornless, but all of these little red raspberries like this, these thornless varieties, get those little, they're like, I don't know, miniature thorns, but they're soft. They're not, they're not spiky or anything like that. But as it's only at the bottom, like one foot of the plant, and as they grow, they become perfectly smooth with no thorns on them at all. And that's what makes these things just so absolutely beautiful. Because like I said, you can darn near swim through these things and pick loads and loads of red raspberries, not even worry about getting stuck with thorns. All right, check it out. I did it with two more of these guys. So this was our original one. It's already bounced back, growing beautifully, putting on some nice new green growth. I went out and I pulled the one that I showed you guys. I pulled right here and you can see it's already drooping over. And that's just the way it goes, guys. The other one did the exact same thing in the beginning and then bounced right back up. So I'm sure by tomorrow, this guy will be recovered and bounce up perfectly and be growing beautifully and do its own nice little berry plants shortly here. And then we've got this one, which I just pulled up another one because I know who I'm gonna be sending these three to and it's going to probably wilt over here in a few but it'll bounce back again just as well that's it with the raspberries guys nothing too awful special about that but it's a lot of fun to just be multiplying those things especially when they're such a good raspberry if you guys love them as much as i do hit the like button or let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more awesome videos about gardening hit the subscribe button right now have a fantastic week and i'll see you guys in the next video adios